Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Hope is a renewable option. If you run out of it at the end of the day, you get to start over again in the morning. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 198, NASDAQ up 65, S&P's up 24. Bottom line, folks, the Fed doesn't go up on rates. Market goes from uh, up 120 down to flat, back up to 198. Bottom line, we'll uh, go through this market, uh, but this market, as one of the targets said uh, in the den, has more legs than a centipede. There's no doubt about it. Gold contract down $10.30, trading at 1155 You get silver up $0.08 cents at $15.94. Platinum is up 16 at $1,003 an ounce. Copper flat at $2.36 a pound. Light sweet crude up $2.76, $45.96 a barrel. Bar, uh, the uh, oil market, folks, numbers came in this morning, 10.30. Oil took off. Bonds, 10-year. Down 23 ticks, 128.06. 30-year down 19 at 157.30. King dollar, King dollar up for 748 ticks, 97.74. Now, King dollar took out the B point of an ABC structure on the way up. That's saying King dollar is going to make the run for 100. Um, Euro, Euro down 131 at 109 in the yen trading at 121.12. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, folks, let's go over and take a look at the S&P. What do you have? If we take a look at this S&P, this is how the SPY is laying out right now. It got over its swing point. It has the price spread, that's for sure. The, the price spread out here today in the SPY, we're up 231. We're at 208.94. Your swing point out here from last Friday was uh, 207.95. That sets up. You're going to make that run. Um, let's see. The next swing up here is 210. 210.68 is game. So that's uh, that's another. That's almost another. Uh, one dollar and seventy cents inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the three Q's. Three Q's are they're at 114, and that also um, I believe the three Q's. Yes, yeah. so the three Q's, the high inside the three Q's, July 20th, 114.39. Um, we're going to go after that high. Uh, we're at uh, 114.02 right now. Gold contract. What happened with gold? Let's check it out. Fed comes out. Fed says, okay, we're not going up on rates this month. Uh, we think we will take a look at it and go up in December. And what happened in the Fed Fund's futures, folks, which bets on where the short-term rate is going to go, there was a 35% chance that they were betting that it would go up in December. Now that has come up to a 45% chance. So inside the gold contract, what ends up happening? Gold, excuse me, folks, gold was traded at 1183. It went straight down 1183 to 1152. We have, we're at 1156. What you have here, however, is this, though, is that you actually pushed into the higher swing of 1191, and you did that with volume. What that means is that you're going to be right back up into this 1191 area. That's in gold. We go over to silver. We take a look at silver. What silver has done is this. Silver actually took out the B point of an ABC structure on the way up and took it out with volume. Okay, so what does that mean? When you take a, a B point out with volume, folks, whether it's an ABC on structure on the way up or the, or the way down, and you don't hold price, most times you go right back topside. So silver got to a price point today of $16.37. You closed at $15.95. We did 68,000 contracts versus 60,000. The actual equities, which were impressive, the gold and silver equities, they were up. Some of them were up pretty good, but they didn't get croaked. If we go take a look at Rangold Resources, Rangold 
did went over its swing point. We got to seventy-two dollars and seven pennies. It closed at sixty-nine. Big volume, man. They couldn't back it off. Them not backing it, you know, the market not backing it off or selling it out is saying that we are going to go topside once again. Now let's go over to the bond market because bonds have been the most consistent as to where bonds want to go. Number one, dollar wants to go all of the above. So bonds out here today, the 10-year, we're at 108.06. We broke the swing point from two days ago and just around about the same amount of volume. We did 1.2 million contracts today versus 1.2 million um, on last Friday. Yeah, for Friday. Um, bonds are still going to need more juice on the way down than this, however, because you're coming into 1.6 and 1.7 million contracts on the way down. That's your 10. We go over to the 30. We take a look at the 30. What you have with the 30? 30. 30 didn't budge. The 30 year, folks, is still saying that higher prices are coming at us. The 30 didn't even get to a swing point. The swing point on the 30 is 156.18, the lowest swing. We got to 157.08. So divergence is here once again. I mean, in a big way, we need to take a look at the dollar, bonds, uh, and the metals. Now, after the close out here, um, we had numbers all over the place. So let's go to Amgen first, inside the biotechs. Amgen closed at 162.67. It's trading up three bucks right now, um, which three dollars is not a huge amount because we've just we're at 165 and we came off the high of 181. Numbers like this go what, in Amgen. Amgen, the estimate was two dollars and thirty-seven cents. They made 272. Huge cash flow. Their cash flow is 2.7 billion. So good numbers. FFIV. We take a look at uh, this is uh, F5 Networks that closed at 121. That's trading at 114. That's getting toasted and roasted. Let's see what's. Oh, that's going to go after its swing low. So this is down off of uh, 135. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, the earnings per share is $1.36. Their revenue is $501 million. Uh, they, were, they were basically looking to make more money. No, no two ways about that. B W L D. good old Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, that is getting toasted and roasted too. That closed at 184. That's trading down $24 at 160. And evidently we're not going to football games and watching and eating chicken. We're gonna be right back, folks, with those numbers. Stay right here.